<coughs> Dear student, this is question number 1.11 from Hero Dovai Physics. Here, this concept will tell you when there are two perpendicular lines, how will you solve the problems? Two particles moves in gravitational field with the acceleration due to gravity there is no g. At the initial moment, the particle were located at one point. This is the one point at initial moment, particle located over here. With velocity 4 meter per second and 3 meter per second in opposite directions. Find the distance between the particles at the moment when their velocity vector become perpendicular. Let this is the point, these two points where perpendicular, these are two vectors which become perpendicular. When two straight lines are perpendicular, what is the condition there? You know, in mathematics, when two lines are perpendicular, this is the condition m1 cross m2 will be equal to 1. m1 means slope. I can write here 10 alpha into 10 beta must be equal to 1. How do you get the 10 alpha here? Simply 10 alpha is, can you see here, this angle is also alpha. And this is a triangle. From this triangle, alpha can be calculated. This is also alpha. Alpha will be gt divided by 3 into beta is also gt upon 4, which is equal to 1. From this relation, we can get the value of t. Here you can calculate. A will be root 0 0.12 when you solve it. This is the time. Now, in order to calculate the distance, distance is as they are moving with constant velocity, that's why acceleration you can take 0 in x axis. Only the motion which we are considering that is in y axis, that is why along y axis acceleration will be g, which we already considered. Distance will be velocity, relative velocity into time, then write velocity of 1 with respect to 2 into time. Velocity of 1 with respect to both are in opposite direction, that is why a12 can be written as a1 minus a2, where a1 is 4 meter per second minus a2 is negative that is 3 and finally it become 7 meters per second. Now put here 7 into time we already know that is 0 0.12 under root and when you solve it it will be approximately 2.5 meters. This will be the answer. Now in this question what is important? Important is that when two lines are perpendicular to each other, their slopes product always be 1. This concept I have taken from the mathematics and after that I just drawn the velocity vector which are perpendicular to each other. From there we will get this particular relation and finally we will get this result. Thank you very much.